Hey guys, good morning. This is Sonali from It Starts at Home. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to showcase a uh, few of uh, my super hands-on activities. And they're completely all brain teasers. And they're super easy. If you are just beginning to do it with your kids, you can like really go step by step. You can reduce the grade. You can reduce the number of the activities. Uh, but I think it's, it's a great way to um, help them scratch their brain and uh, spend some time like doing stuff by themselves okay so going forward i'm going to show you my first activity it's like let the smile stay forever so that's the first activity i have used a simple stamper of mine like i had these very old stampers if you're an old subscriber you must have seen like i have used these like for many of my activities um previous in my previous uh, videos so what i've done i've made a grid here and i've used um the similar smileys so there's one in the main frame that's the top one and uh, as you can see that's an orange one and it's also colored orange and here in the grid i have like used all different four stampers and i've stamped them what vivan has to do that he needs to look at this picture and he needs to exactly replicate it on the orange ones so he needs to first figure out the color which is inside then color it inside and then he needs to uh, make the hairstyle so it's like you have to copy the picture you have to first find the face then you have to copy it so that's step number one once it's easy for him to do this I'm going to present to him step number two. For you, what you can do is you can reduce the number of smileys, you can reduce the grid, and you can make it extremely simple. That's number two. Or you can use any other st stamper. You, it doesn't need to be a smile. It can be anything. The second thing what I've done is I've used two colors here. So it's a purple smiley with a green and an orange on the top along with the, uh, the hairstyle that I've made. So he needs to figure out the purple smiley first. And then he needs to color... The, the dual color the green and the orange and then he needs to make that hairstyle so that's number two um i'm not sure how comfortable he will be doing it but like that's the whole point like you have step number one step number two and if he'll be stuck with step number one i'm gonna make few more like just to be uh, pretty sure that he can move to the uh, second level that's number two number three is you have two shapes and you have to do both of them on the grid so you have a green and an orange together there are two different hairstyles there are two different faces two different colors and you have what he has to do he has to find them and he has to exactly replicate them so this was number three because there were two of them the last one is um i don't think so it's very difficult but let's see there are three different uh, stampers that i've used for all uh, in a particular grid, what he has to do, he has to put all the elephants here, hippo here and zebra here with the stamp. He needs to figure out the color that I've used inside and then he needs to replicate the same color and then he needs to finish the picture. So it's a four step process in a simple, uh, it's going to go in my busy folder for the next week and let's see how will you take it forward. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to show you my next one which is uh, a matrix based game and um, yeah guys Vivan is at home and he's busy doing his lego right now okay so uh, all my matrix games are are inspired by uh, the battleship game that we have played uh, that's something that has been stuck with Vivan and uh, it has really helped us to up our game in uh, in understanding how matrix is done and like how do you read the graphs so what I've done here on a piece of paper and with a lot of stickers that I have, I have, uh, I've just randomly placed stickers here and he needs to identify which sticker is on which number. So there are two parts to it. I have uh, made it like a step one and step two. So for here, like this is on A1. So I've already written A here. He needs to write one. He needs to figure it out. Where is this sticker? He needs to find the number and he needs to write here. So that's like step one. You can always do a step, step one and step two with your kid. I mean, just to make it easy for them in the beginning. Uh, though he can do it, but still like just to give a leverage to him, a leverage to him, I have still put it. So it's from A, uh, I think there are four or five of them. And here the same one. 
uh, like the fire is at two places. He needs to figure it out. It's on C2 and then it's on D5. That's he needs, he needs to write here. Then uh, this one is on D7 and B5. He needs to write here. So this is something that's part two. After he completes this, he needs to write this by himself. Okay. So this was my second activity. My next activity is a... Uh, it's a tally chart or a tally graph, as you can see. Uh, we are learning how to make graphs and how to study them and how to um, count and write according to them. So what I've done, I have used my some uh, garden-based stickers. And uh, I have used five different prominence here. A bird, sorry, a flower, turnip, strawberry, and an ice cream candy. You can see they're all on the top. And here at the tally chart, Vivan has to count all of them. And he needs to write the numbers here. And in the graph, uh, I have put a special color here at the bottom. He needs to look at this color and then he needs to shade. So like if this is strawberry, we have to count one, two, three, four, five, six. So he needs to count. Uh, he needs to write six here and he needs to color up to six. Okay, and he needs to color the uh, with an oh, yeah, orange I pencil. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and the I know you have done that, Vivan. That's why we are doing it again. Uh, the next one is the bird and then the turnip, the flower and the ice cream. So that's how he needs to finish the graph. If you haven't started with your kid, you can always start with like just two or three alphabet. Um, sorry, with three um, embellishments or like stickers with three objects, I mean. And then it doesn't need to like go up to seven. You can like do from one, two and three and four. And then, then it's like it's it's pretty pretty simple and it's pretty easy to begin with. Uh, my next activity is um, is a coding uh, based activity, and I think I have inspired from the the coding game that we do at home. Osmo. Yeah, like not Osmo. Um, I think the the learning resource game which which no, we do. Coding. Okay, so code what we have code breaker? No. Yes, okay. Code okay, Vivan. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so in this one, what we have to do is I have made, um, I've just taken a paper and I have made this grid. And here what Vivan has to do, he needs to look at the instruction. So R means right, U means up, L means left, D means down. So uh, if you can see, I have like traced this one to right. So this is the starting point. You go to right, then to up then two left and two down. So there is a hidden shape which is going to come out once he solves this. And that's like a basic simple step of coding that you have to follow or you have to find the path or follow the coding instruction that has been given. So this is one, two, three, four. There are four different shapes that are gonna come out once he's gonna follow it. So of course these two are like step one and step two, that's step three and that's step four. So there are like different four, um, four of them. And let's see how he's gonna do it. Okay, my my next activity is, again, it's a matrix chart activity. And what Vivan has to do with the grid, I have given him a docket here. And he needs to look at the star. And wherever, wherever it says, he has to paste the star there. Um, this was uh, done with one of my brain, brain teaser books, I think, a couple of months back. But this has been a great hit with Vivan. So I try and, like, keep doing different versions of it. Uh, you have a lot of stickers here. I have used my sticker books and this is my sticker book that I've used and I, he has to pick up the sticker from here and he needs to then paste it here. So like if it says um, this is D1, so D1, this thing needs to come here and then an F5, it's somewhere here. So he needs to basically study the grid and then he needs to replicate it here. Okay, guys, I don't think so. It's going to be that difficult and not even that simple. Okay, my last activity is, it might be a little overwhelming, but trust me, you can like really uh, customize it according to your child. Again, there is a step one and step two here. So I'm going to show you the step one here. I have made a big grid here from one to nine and A to G. And what Vivan has to do, there are these different codes that I have created here. And there are these four colors, I think, you can see all four of them like very similar. This red, black, pink, and purple in terms of stickers. So Vivan has to look at the grid and he needs to, on A1, B1, C1, and D1, he needs to put a red sticker. 
on C3, D3, E3 and F3 he has to put a black sticker and so on here. So that's your step one because and um, guys you can always reduce the grade. You can always make from like A to C to 1 to 3 so that it's easy for you guys to like do it. You can like always cut it into half but because Vivan has been doing it so I have just made it a little more interesting and a lot stuff a lot more that he can do into it. So that's gonna be step one. Step two for step two, uh, you can see that I have another one and here I have a mixture of the numbers and the alphabets and it, it's not in sync. They're all like different ones and it's it's step two basically. So you have to figure out like G5, F4, E5 and D4 and that's the green dot that has to come. I have, I'm going to place all these stickers along uh, alongside with him when he's doing the activity and he needs to pick it up and then he needs to uh, place it here so uh, same goes with the the other three ones <clears throat> sorry i have a bad throat a bad flu for the season but uh, it's okay guys so this was the activity guys and uh, do let me know what are your reviews and if you want to see something um, more if you want to see more activities uh, around it i can do more and give me your feedback if you like the activity, please give me a like button. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Thanks for watching. See you next time.